In the past, I've used dial indicators to micro adjust my table saw fence by just lightly tapping on the side of the fence and watching the dial indicator needle. But uh, this method of tapping the side of the fence is not a very good one. You can you have a tendency to overshoot and then you have to go back the other way and it can be somewhat of a pain. So today I'm going to take care of that. I've got a piece of scrap four quarter cherry that I'm going to use for the base of the micro adjuster. I edge jointed one side nice and square, and now I could just cut this to width. I'm going to rip this piece of cherry right down the middle, and each piece will serve as a clamping mechanism which will straddle each side of the table saw fence rail. So these two pieces that I just ripped, I had to plane one of them down a little bit thinner than the other so that it'll fit behind the fence rail and it'll get glued to the outer edge of the main body of the jig and this one will get glued to the front and two bolts will get screwed into the front and secure the jig to the fence rail. And if you can't tell, I'm really just making this up as I go along. My jig is going to get attached to the fence rail with a half inch bolt that's going to go through the side of the jig and into a nut on the other side. So just a little bit of two-part epoxy will secure the nuts in their uh, respective nut holes. When all three portions of this jig are glued together, I want it to be able to ride over top of this portion of my table saw uh, fence. So I need to hog out this material underneath the main portion of the jig uh, with a Forstner bit and I'll clean it up with a chisel. I finished cleaning up this little section in here with a chisel. Now I just need to glue on each side. For the section that's going to support the threaded rod, I'm going to cut off two two-inch sections of scrap wood. On one of the blocks we just cut, I need to sink a threaded insert, and I'm going to do that with a half inch Forstner bit. By referencing off the little divot that was created by the center spur of the Forstner bit, I'm going to use a regular drill bit to drill all the way through this block of wood so that I have a hole that's slightly larger than the threaded rod. By using my table saw sled, I'm going to cut out a small block of wood that's actually going to make contact with the side of the fence. I want this block to be able to spin as it makes contact with the fence. I'm going to do that with a combination of washers and lock nuts. In order to make these two locking bolts easier to turn, I'm going to make two knobs out of some scrap wood.
I'm going to work on the knob next, which is going to drive the threaded rod forward. I need to recess a nut into the back of this knob, and on the other side, I'll jam it with another nut. So now all I need to do to micro adjust my fence is to make fine adjustments to this screw advance and the fence will move over by thousandths of an inch. The question now is how much of a screw advance gives me so many thousandths of an inch? So we need to calibrate this next. So with the dial indicator phase zeroed, I'm going to go ahead and advance this screw by 90 degrees and we'll see what kind of reading we get on the dial indicator. The needle moved by 16 thousandths of an inch, so a 90 degree turn on our screw advance will advance our fence by 16 thousandths of an inch. So that's my take on a micro adjuster for your table saw fence. So thanks for watching guys, and if you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel, and you can also like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, and you can stay up to date with everything Garage Woodworks.